before I get into anything, big shout out to EA for allowing me to capture and upload this gameplay for you guys early. You know the game will be out October the 15th. So I hop on NBA Live Mobile and what do I see? Well, <laughs> what I see is in my last video, the Zion Williamson, people in the comments were mad, upset, angry, everything mixed into one emotion. And the main thing they were upset about is the fact that the gameplay pretty much looked the same and there was no huge graphical upgrades. So I am gonna explain that a little bit along with some of you did not believe that you are still able to have your stuff all your items and all that good stuff from season three to season four and i feel like it's my job you know i put a lot of weight on my shoulders or whatever i feel like it's my responsibility to clear some of this stuff up because i'm one of the biggest people that plays this game and you know it's like my baby man i've been on it since the very beginning season one and all that good stuff so Yes, you are able to have your stuff from season three to season four. There is going to be a certain lineup that you have those cards in and certain campaigns that you are going to be able to participate in in order to use those players. So be on the lookout. There are some other game changers uploading videos today and the rest of this week. Make sure you follow the NBA Live mobile Twitter account so you can see updates on those videos. Now the big thing was the graphics, the gameplay engine. It felt like, it looked like you guys were saying that nothing has been changed and I feel you on that, all right? Now my thinking is one of the main reasons we aren't seeing really huge leaps in, in graphics and you know a huge gameplay engine is the compatibility of these devices that we use. Now, if they were to make a huge leap from season three to season four, I think they believe that they will cut out a lot of devices, a lot of phones, which means you would not be able to play NBA Live Mobile or the performance would be so shaky and crashy and laggy that you would not have fun at all. I know that has happened to some games. They'll have like a huge graphical leap and then they cut out a lot of phones, bro. But Madden Overdrive, they did jump from Madden Mobile to Overdrive. They had a new graphics engine and all that. And you were actually able, were you able to dump down the graphics a little bit? I think you were. So maybe something like that could come into effect on NBA Live Mobile. Maybe we can suggest that. Make sure you hit them up on the Twitter account. Let them know if you want to see things like that, man. But just keep it respectful because... If you over there cursing them out, yo, they just not, they're going to ignore your comment, you know. You want to bring constructive criticism. You want to bring that feedback, but, you know, say it in a respective way. You don't want to just come out cursing people out and stuff like that, because I don't think that. Well, you sold your stuff. What in the blue moon? What? This man right here sold all his season three stuff because you, you. Hey, I try to tell you, man, you will be able to bring it from three to four. Anyway, now we got all that stuff out the way. There are some improvements to gameplay. And you might have seen that I'm going to bring you a pick and roll tutorial. And I felt like the player I wanted to do that with was an 85 over. Oh. Anthony Davis, we had this dude maxed out. And you see all his stats. Yes, there are way more. If you haven't seen my previous two videos I've done on NBA Live Mobile Season 4, make sure you go check those out. We were talking about all this stuff. And his traits and his X-Factor glass cleaner. You see he's getting a plus 6 to rebounding. He's going to be boxing out. He's got vertical popping. Now, as far as closeout specialists, another passive trait that he has Plus two blocking, on-ball defense, agility, and this X factor, which is brick wall. Now, every 60 seconds, we are going to get this. And what you want to do is hold down the brick wall button, and the player that you're guarding will automatically miss the shot, dog. So, the main thing you want to do as far as this is make sure you have manual defensive switching on so you're able to switch to Anthony Davis and you'll make it a lot easier on yourself when you're trying to do that. 
So we're actually gonna go back to season mode. So we have this game against the Phoenix Suns. We are gonna see if we can pull off some pick and rolls with Anthony Davis. Now, as you see now the court, it does look a little more crisp. The crowd looks a little more 3D, I must say. There have been slight improvements like to the net and different stuff like that. And we were about to get a pick and roll going right there, but I actually passed it to Anthony Davis instead. And I'm going in with that easy layup. Now I was talking to Brian and he was telling me the way you pull off the pick and roll is you have to basically use your finger and swipe toward a player. Let's see if we can do it right here with Anthony Davis. So I'm gonna wait for him to come down court I'm gonna swipe over toward him. Well, actually this dude ended up picking it up. So he came and sent me a pick and he didn't roll that time, but Anthony Davis stuck in that thing down. The ability to you get that out of here. Look at Anthony Davis coming up with that block. Let me try it again. Hurry, hurry. All right, here you go. Anthony Davis sent me one. I wanted him to go up with an alley -oop. Oh, here we go on the roll. He going up. We actually have our brick wall activated so if I hold down that button you see the little meter above my head turns blue he should automatically miss that shot and he did but unfortunately that time they did get their own rebound so I'm really wondering will this brick wall uh, basically uh, you know be a combatant to a clutch three-point shot or something like that or an anti-gravity X factor I have no idea man I'm gonna have to figure that out because that would be huge and I know a lot of you would probably want to pick this Anthony Davis if that was the fact man because that is gonna be a game changer here's the pick and roll uh oh we throwing him an alley-oop he going up with that layup you see it does work so I mean little things like that are improvements to gameplay and I know that was another concern I saw in a few comments was, are you going to be able to... Oh, hold up. I'm shooting a three. Banging a three! I didn't think that thing was going in, Brad. You know what I'm saying? But this Anthony Davis is looking like he might be one of the superstars you might want to pick up, bro. I ain't even going to lie to you. His stuff is looking pretty good with the pick and rolls. He's got the defense popping. That brick wall X factor is huge, man. All right, let's try it again. All right, here we go. We're getting the hang of it now. He rolling. Oh, no, they ripped my pockets. I was definitely going to try to throw another alley-oop right there. So, so it is a little, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. You have to keep on calling for it. But I was trying to get Anthony Davis to do it. And, of course, he was, like, posted up his dude in the paint. So he would not get out of the post and come and do that. So, man. You know, it's still a work in progress. It's things like that that they can add throughout the season that can improve the game. So keep that in mind. If you think the gameplay is totally the same, there's little things like the pick and roll that they are adding that will make us have a little bit more fun up here and will make it easier to score and stuff like that, you know? But we have our brick wall active again. I'm going to hold it down. And he's going to come down. <laughs> he's going to come down and miss the layup. You see that? All right. So, yo, Anthony Davis might be the move, bro, for real. You see that? He's going up. Slamming it down! This dude right here is a beast. This dude right here is serious. And I know I'm not really paying attention to the score. I know people are going to be in the comments. You trash. No, we ain't going to get beat by the CPU. Right now, I'm just messing around with the pick and rolls. You feel me? I'm trying to see how it works I've been testing it out right here this is actually the first time I've actually tested it out so there's the pick there's the roll we're gonna be throwing alley-oops to Anthony Davis all day long so I feel like if you have a good big man you will be set dog you know what I'm trying to say sorry let me come down and do something man before we end up taking an L I can't do pick and rolls all game long I need to shoot some threes too oh we missing that one Getting the rebound. All right, Anthony Davis, come down and show him what you all about. I'm trying to shoot me some threes, though. There you go. We tied a game up. Do I have my brick wall now? Let me switch to AD. I'm trying to switch to AD. Here we go. Yeah, we had it. I was about to hold down that button, but we got the steal instead. Coming down. 
Oh, I wanted to slam that thing, ref. Going up with that easy layup. Here go brick wall. I'm holding it down, brother. They gonna miss this shot. Oh, we getting a steal. Can we take it coast to coast? Slamming it. See, I told you we were gonna take off on these dudes, man. Don't worry, man. You know the haters gonna hate. They gonna say your boy garbage. They gonna brick wall. We couldn't get the rebound though. Let's get another pick and roll popping real quick. All right, there we go. Anthony Davis, he was supposed to roll. Instead, I'm taking a three. We picking and popping. You know what I mean? I like the fact that you can do that now. That is huge. So that is basically the tutorial for it. Uh, like I said, oh, I should have blocked that. All you do is basically swipe in the direction of a player. Like I'm swiping toward, all right, I was swiping toward Anthony Davis that time. It's not gonna be 100%, I can tell you that much. Let me see if he can actually do it right here. All right, I'm getting him to set me a pick. Now I can go baseline and go up with that layup. No, sir, get that out of here. There go his defense getting it popping. You know what I'm saying, bro? They taking that shot. They trying to go back up with it. Look at Anthony Davis. Yo, I might have to get him, dog. Now, when I get on my real account, I might have to get him, dog. Coming down, slamming it. Uh-oh. I'm about to put the moves on him. Uh-oh. Boy, we... We actually have to be guarding the player, I think. So that's why he made that one. There it is. Brick wall. We get the rebound. All right, man. This thing right here, the cheese, ain't it? I'm spinning. I'm trying to come down and do something saucy. I'm coming baseline on him again. Now you see it pops up at the top, of course. Pick and roll. All right, it didn't work that time. Hey, all right, here you go. Come on, Anthony. Yeah, set that pick, bro. Go ahead and roll to the basket, dog. Oh, he missed it that time, but we ended up getting that put back layup. So like I was saying, man, you know, we got to be optimistic. There are things that are going to change. There are some things that aren't going to change. But all in all, you know, we're still going to have fun on the game. Yes, you get to keep your stuff. You see the graphics have improved. The crowd looks a little different, you know. There's some stuff going on as far as the, the net. The net physics looks a lot better. The sounds sound a lot better. The court looks more textured or whatnot. But like I said, as far as a whole new gameplay engine, and upgrading graphics and all that you have to be careful when you start doing all that man because it could take out a lot of devices and mess up the whole compatibility and the ability for people to play the game you feel me but there's a little pick and roll tutorial with this 85 overall anthony davis i hope you enjoyed the video leave me a like follow me on twitter and instagram at qjbeat and i'll be back with some more content soon that nasty Hey!